God bless you and I hope everyone's having a beautiful, positive and blessed morning and afternoon depending where you are in this beautiful, amazing world, life, whatever it is. I'm super pumped up today. I had an amazing workout this morning, super inspiring, super empowering and I went in thinking I was going to do an hour, I ended up doing two hours, but I came out of there so alive, so freaking like empowered, I felt strong, I felt willing to take on that day today and this line just came out of my mouth when I was typing and it's like your job is to live, not control. Too many of us have a bad habit of controlling everything. We control our situations, we try to control our relationships, we try to control our jobs, too much control in this world. I was a control freak. I try to control everything in my life. When it comes to relationships, my job, my situations, I try to control everything and I can't. It was overwhelming. I was getting tired. I was like getting upset more than I was getting happy. And you know, throughout the years, I'm improving that area of control. And I think that we all face that. I think we're all in that position right now. We're all probably going through something right now that we want to control. But you can't control it. You can't control everything, which is the reason why you probably stress, which is probably the reason why you're depressed, which is probably the reason why you're facing anxiety, high blood pressure, cholesterol, all that stuff. Whatever that may be, it's because you're trying to control everything. So what I want you to do is take the remote control, put it down. Put it down. Put the remote down. That's it. Right now. Do it. Put the remote down. Stop control, stop it, pause it, go back into your life and start telling yourself, what do I have to start doing to live my life without control? What do I have to do to stop controlling other people's decisions, other people's choices, other people's life so that I can live mine? The problem is, is that we're not giving up the control to the right person. We're giving up control to the wrong people. For me, back in 2015, you know, I've been following faith since I was in, since 2009. I started with Joe Osteen. When I started doing that, this faith lifestyle came about and I was empowered by it. 2008, the end of 2007 into 2008 is when I discovered positivity, you know, and when I discovered positivity led me into faith. And faith led me to where I am today. So in 2015, it was probably the worst time of my life, the downturn of my life. I would say the game changer of my life happened in 2015 when everything was going wrong. Nothing was going right. Even with the faith that I was carrying at that time, it just wasn't going right. Did I ever lose faith? Absolutely not. But the situations that I could have controlled different or handled differently where I was losing control of it because I was trying to control it. Until middle of that year, I would say maybe June, July, around there, I surrendered. I surrendered. I surrendered. I read the, the I, I, and I still forget the, the verse. I should have checked it before I made the video. James 4, 7 in the Bible. I want you to go check it out. I read that three, four, five times after I watched that movie, The War Room. I said, this is exactly what I needed at that moment in time to completely change my life. I was nervous because I didn't know what was going to happen after I did it, but I did it. I surrendered everything. I'm getting the chills. If you guys can see that, I got the chills. I surrendered everything. I said, I no longer want control of these things that are taking control of me. I'm losing myself here. I don't want to feel that way. And you're probably feeling that way too right now. You got to give up that control to a higher being. I don't know who or what you believe in, but I'm telling you, give it up. Give up the control, surrender and say, I will do what the life presents me on a daily basis. I am going to follow what life presents and I'm going to handle it to the best of my ability so that I don't lose control of my life. 
You got to, honestly, in order for you to live, you got to give up that control. I don't know how else to tell you. There's no perfect way to say it. There is nothing about, nothing perfected about this. I'm different. I handle things different. Like I explained, you know, if you guys can go check out my workout post, that I, which is why I'm elaborating on it, is that the three things that I'm actually living by since that time that have allowed me to be stronger, to improve my lifestyle, and to become a better person, not only for everybody around me, but for myself. The three things are self-awareness, understanding what I just became self-aware of, and having the faith to go face it and pursue it no matter the outcome. Just knowing that I did my best in something is what matters the most to me. I don't want to control the outcome. That's not my decision. My decision is to go out there and live my best life and whatever comes out of it is what's meant to be. What's meant to be. If I want something really bad, I'm going to do whatever it takes to do it. But if it doesn't work out for me, I'm not going to be disappointed. I know I did my best and I know I went for it because I lived it. That's an experience. It's an opportunity that we all in life don't want to pursue because we want to control everything. We assume it's not going to work out. We assume that that's not the right thing to do. But if it, if it, if it makes your heart skip a beat, if it makes your mind twirl and like, oh man, this is a good idea, but then somebody else tells you it's not a good idea, that go with your instincts, go with your feelings. It was given to you for a reason. It was given to you to live it out. Everything you've been through in life is for you to go and voice your opinion of it. Nobody should tell you what to do and not to do. Whatever you went through in life, that's your voice. That's your experience. That's your opportunity to go live out your best life. Not what all these famous people are doing. It's what you're capable of doing right now because you matter. Your voice matters. Your empowerment matters. You got to live your best life out there. And if it wasn't for me to finally say, I'm surrendering all of control in my life and I'm going to give it to you, God, control it, lead me, take me wherever you want to go and I'm going to be there with you. If I fail, so what? If I make mistakes, so what? I'm going to keep going, facing, believing, and, and achieving whatever God meant was meant for me. And I know I was going to fail. And I know I was going to make mistakes. But I didn't care. Because I know God is not going to let me down. He's going to show me the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I'm okay with all of them. Because every single one of them is an experience and an opportunity to become a better version of myself. And I'm telling you today to be a better version of yourself. Because you matter. Because I believe in you. You need to believe in you. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself it's possible. I'm ready to live my best life. And you might lose a lot of people along the way, but the right people, it's already in place once you decide to take that path. Believe me, I know for a fact there's beauty at the end of that path. But you got to believe in yourself to go get it, to go face it, to go in it. Trust me, you matter. Guys, you already know I'm super freaking pumped up about this topic. It's what I live by. It's empowering to me. My, my, my goal in life and, and, and this is my discovery is that I want to create an altitude of vision in other people's lives the same way I did to myself. By, by creating the self-awareness that I'm missing, understand the awareness that I just discovered so that I can have the faith and belief to go get it. And I want you to do the same exact thing your way. Your failures, your mistakes, your experiences, your opportunities. It's on you. Anything that happens to you is on you. Everything else is just an opinion. What I'm giving you, it's my opinion and my version, and I hope you twist it and make it your own. God bless you. And always remember, never forget, please, to have faith, not fear, no matter what.
Why? Because faith always ignites the healing in every experience, opportunity, and life of every single day that you live. Stop controlling and start living. God bless you. Peace out.